On day two of the rescue effort, Mother Nature testing the USS The Sullivans and all the people on site to save it. Our concern is to make sure that she can be righted in a responsible way. High winds are pushing this decommissioned destroyer further into the dock and rain is causing water levels to rise, making it tough to stabilize the ship. Crews have been forced to stop pumping water out of the hull after they discovered oil coming from it. The Coast Guard estimating they've recovered 1,000 gallons of oil as of 1 o'clock Friday. Environmental cleanup crew Miller Environmental is on the scene. And they'll be continuing uh, to uh, again clean up uh, and suck up all of the oily water into a tank where they skim uh, the oil from the top of the water. Everything unfolding along the Buffalo waterfront has been top of mind for Kelly Sullivan, granddaughter of one of the Sullivan brothers for whom the warship is named. To see it in its current state, what was your initial reaction? <sighs> Well, I would uh, shock, absolute shock. Sullivan is a third grade teacher in Cedar Falls, Iowa. She was on her way to school when she first heard the news there was a breach in the ship's hull. When I got to school, I was able to pull up the images and I shared them with my third graders. And they are very connected to the story of the Sullivans and uh, to Buffalo, because I talk about Buffalo and the ship all the time. And so they were just, you could hear the kids gasp. Sullivan grateful for all the efforts to save the ship and hopeful that artifacts on board, like letters her great-grandmother wrote the sailors, remain intact. I hope those letters are okay. You know, I, I don't know if, if, if they were damaged with the water. I don't, you know, I, I don't know if we'll get those back. With several days of work still ahead to upright this ship, the president of the military and naval park vows to press on. Failure is not a solution. It is not going to be something that we're going to accept. I just moments ago got off the phone with developer Douglas Jamal. He has been instrumental in the fundraising effort for the Sullivans. I asked him about the artifacts that Kelly is so concerned about, like those letters from her great grandmother. He says from everything he has been told by the folks on the ground, they are okay. So great news for that tonight.